commandment in the Bible. And I'm super excited to go over this. Obviously, it's one of those things that I think every Christian would want to know. What is the greatest commandment? Just so you know, I'm going to be reading out of the, the REV. It's the Revised English Version. Where we're going to find this greatest commandment is in Matthew 22, verse 34 through verse 40. And we see Jesus here, and he, he's speaking with the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the uh, religious leaders of the time, and they wanted to test Jesus. So one of the Pharisees, he's actually a lawyer. Uh, we'll pick it up in verse 35. It says, one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, him being Jesus, testing him. Teacher, which commandment is the greatest one in the law? And Jesus said, Love Yahweh your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and also the prophets. So we see here that first and foremost, Jesus says that love your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. But he also says, love your neighbor as yourself. And that's what I want to focus on here in this short teaching. You see, there's so many times that this verse is used to say that you can't be frustrated with somebody. You can't judge somebody. It's not your place to criticize somebody. Have you ever been frustrated with yourself? Have you ever done something where you have a regret or you have a frustration? I mean, sure, I know I have. Have you ever gone to work and made a mistake and it affects somebody else and other people had to be brought in to help fix that mistake? Have you ever made an appointment and say you forgot about the appointment and you didn't, you weren't able to show up and there's someone waiting for you? Well, of course you're frustrated with yourself that you forgot that you didn't write down in your calendar, whatever the situation may be. And what do we do when we're frustrated with ourselves, when we have regret? Well, if it's, if it's serious enough, we have to forgive ourselves. Uh, we also have to learn from it. If it's something minor, perhaps we forget, we forget about it, or we just learn from it and move on. But life goes on, and we continue living with ourselves. You can't ever get away from yourself. That's part of who you are. And I believe, and I, I'm going to assert that this, that's what this scripture is saying. That, yes, we're, we have frustrations with the people around us. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. Well, who's your neighbor? That's all the people around us. Yes, we, we have frustrations with them. Yes, we have times where... We make judgments about them. We make assessments about them. You know, on this channel, I teach about self-protection. And when I mention that somebody may be a threat, you perceive them as a threat. Why? Because they're body language, because of what they're doing. You've never met them before. And you immediately make an assessment of, this person may be a threat to me. That's human nature. That's the way that we're designed. We, we all make judgments and, and assessments. So when we have frustrations with our neighbor, we should do the same thing that we do with ourselves. We, for, we forgive them. We move on. We forget. And we simply move on and we continue to love them and we continue to bear with them. Now there are certain instances or cases where people in your life say that there's something criminal going on, that they're harassing you or they're pushing you into depression or something like that. You know, they're abusing you. Those are the kind of people that we are not going to continue to align ourselves with or be around. Uh, however, we can still pray for them, we can still forgive them, even though we're distancing ourselves from them. Also, as always, I encourage you all to check out some additional resources down in the description below. So, let's love our Yahweh, our God, with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and all of our mind. And let's love our neighbor as ourselves.